Did you know that Canva for Education lets you create free documents that are fully interactive? And yes, this means video as well. So let's have a look at what you can do. Here on Canva for Education, again, links will be in the description if you want to find out how to activate your Canva for Education. This is completely free. We can create a new doc. You can click on the more settings and then here on the left hand side you have docs with lots of templates available that you can start using. However, I'm going to create a doc from scratch because I've already prepared some text for everyone to see. Here is our document, Mastering Google Classroom. Now this talks a little bit more about the recent updates to Google Classroom and how AI with Gemini is now coming into Google Classroom. So I want a video demonstration. I want text to explain it. I want a link that goes out to a website with more information. And I also want to check the current knowledge of our colleagues on Google Classroom just to find out where the knowledge gaps are. However, I do not want to send them a form, a link, a video, a website. I want everything in one document with an easy share. Well, Canva lets you do that. Here you can see I have my text. I'm going to start by adding a nice little image at the top. So let's click on this quick action plus icon. Let's add in an image. This is about a classroom. So I'm just going to type classroom. It's automatically going to then give me some suggestions. And I want to find a graphic that has to do with a classroom. Here's a nice graphic. Let's just resize that and let's leave it like this. Scrolling down, you'll see I've already put some information there and a placeholder. This is a placeholder for some interactive content. So let's first of all embed this video tutorial. So here you can see instead of this text, I want my video. I don't just want to link to a video. I want the video to be playable within the document. Well, here is my video. This is the video on the AI update in Google Classroom. Let's copy this link at the top, go back to Canva Docs and click on that plus icon. We're going to click on the plus icon, plus, find embed and simply paste that link in there and enter. It pulls the video in and you will see that video is playable within my document. I can change the alignment, left, center, right at the top. Let's do it left. And when people double click on this, they can now interact with the video. So I can press play to play that video and I can pause the video. Everything is fully embedded, interactive within our document. Now the double click is only necessary for you as an editor. Once you share this document, people only click once and the video will start playing. In addition to that, adding links to external resources, very easy. For example, I have my website here. I'm going to copy that URL and the way links work in Canva, you simply highlight the text that you would like to see linked and paste it. It automatically links it to the correct text. Let's do that again. We're going to highlight our text, paste our link. It automatically links it. Now, what I do recommend you do is after you've linked it, click on the edit link and at the bottom, choose what display mode you would like to use. You have a link, a title or an embed. When you select embed, the website is going to get a preview window that is pulled in as an embed and it looks very different. So this is the exact same link twice. Here it is a regular link. Here it is an embed link. So you can see the difference there. And then finally, my all time favorite, we can also insert a Google form and it is fully interactive. So your students, your colleagues, people you share this with do not need to leave the file. They can answer the Google form and carry on staying within that Canva doc. Let's see what that looks like. Well, here I have a form. I've created this form. I've published it. And now I'm ready to send this to people to fill in. Well, I have this link here, the responder link. This is the link that I would send to people. However, that means another tab, another window. I don't want that. I want it within my document. Let's go back to Canva Docs. And here where I have that placeholder, I'm just going to delete this bit, go to the plus icon, and again, searching for embed, select embed, paste the link, enter. It's going to pull in the form. It's going to make it look good, format everything on a single page. And as you can see here, it is fully interactive. You can select it, answer the form, and submit your responses all within this document. Okay, I have a working interactive document. 
it's time to now share this with people. Well, here at the top, when you click on share, there are a number of ways you can share it. We can go to share it here with the regular access levels, sharing it within your domain or with specific people. Great, this is secure, safe, a much better way of sharing documents that may have information you don't want leaked. However, in this case, this is for everyone. So I'm going to select the public view link. So here, when I click on public view link, this is the link that everybody has access to. What I can do is I can copy this and let's see what it looks like to other people by opening this in an incognito tab. In incognito now, this is what people will see. They have a full view of this document. The image is there. They can scroll down. They see that video when they press play. The video will start playing. Just going to mute that. You can see they can fast forward. They can see the entire video. Very easy. It's within the file. They can continue. They get a bit more information. This is a link to the website. When they click on that, it opens the website. However, they also have this embedded preview window. That means that they can click on that and it opens it. The preview is pulled in. Different websites will have different previews. So do look at what it offers you because it may look better one way or the other. Scrolling down, a fully interactive quiz. So I can fill in the interactive quiz here. You can see I can select everything. And then finally, I can submit my answers all within my Canva doc. So a really great way of creating interactive documents and then sharing them with people. Now do let me know in the comment section below, how might you use this and would you use this? And what other topics would you like to see covered on the channel in regards to Canva for education? Now, I wanna say a quick thank you to the growing community of both YouTube members and Patreon supporters. If you too would like to join this community, find that button at the bottom to join the YouTube membership where you get the videos early before anyone else and you can start that conversation in the comment section or you can join our Patreon page where you get access to the videos completely ad-free in addition to some additional files, documents and links. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.